If you need more support, visit faithfullygrowing.com and click on offerings. There you'll learn about the Faithfully Growing community, an affordable way to try IFS. You can also find info on one-on-one and group coaching offerings. And if you're interested in one-on-one coaching, I invite you to schedule a free consultation on my website. There's no obligation, and I'd love to meet you. Also, my goal is to make IFS accessible to everyone. If you can help out, I invite you to make a tax-deductible donation at faithfullygrowing.com forward slash donate. Your support lets me offer more sliding scale slots and keep creating free content like this podcast. Welcome to another episode of IFS Meditations and Insights, a podcast exploring personal growth through the lens of internal family systems. I'm Tim Fortescue, your guide on this journey, an IFS trained practitioner dedicated to nurturing spiritual wholeness and healing. In this compassionate space, we delve into self-discovery, uncovering inner wisdom. When we embrace all parts of ourselves with love, we can better receive divine love and extend it to others. My hope is that what I discuss here will illuminate your path, bringing you inner peace and a deeper connection to the sacred. Together, we'll learn how IFS gently transforms our relationship with ourselves and the world. So settle in, open up your heart and mind, and let's dive into another episode. I'm going to lead you I'm going to lead you in a bedtime or nighttime meditation to help you check in with your parts before you go to sleep. So let's begin the meditation. Find a comfortable position, likely lying down. I encourage you to close your eyes for this meditation. And as you breathe, begin to notice your parts. It may be helpful to say something like, hey, y'all, it's the end of the day. I'm in bed. It's time to rest and recharge. Thanks for your help today. See how your parts that are gathered around respond. There's likely a part that may not believe you. It may be helpful to say something as you acknowledge them. Like, yes, you too. You belong. I need you. Notice the other parts that are present. And where do you notice them in or around your body? Maybe it's a visual or a body sensation. Maybe there are multiple sensations. As you notice, check in and see how you're feeling toward your parts. And if it's resentment or anger or anything other than thoughts along the line of compassion and curiosity, it's likely another part. So... Notice that and just see if that part or those parts can soften back and give you a little space just to witness. And if you're able to extend some calmness, curiosity, compassion, to your parts, just go ahead and do that and see if they can take it in.
And from that place, ask who would like to share something before we go to sleep? What would you like to tell me before we rest? What do you need? Is there anything you need to let go of before we sleep? It may be a good point there to remind your parts who you are today that you're older now that may be a surprise for some or many and if some parts are distrustful let them know that that makes sense but See if they could give you just a bit of a chance. I just want to get to know them a little more before we rest. It may be helpful to ask, how can I help you so we can all rest? And there may be parts that aren't ready to rest now. Let them know that they can stay up for a bit more. And play. Because you've got this. You need some rest before tomorrow, but they're playing. is not going to make you more tired tomorrow. They may need that. And it's okay. And with the parts that are still awake, some may have dozed off. But those that want to engage a little more, ask them what their best was about the day. What went well? Share with them what your best was or how you resonate with what they liked about the day and how you were there with them together. What was the worst about the day? What they struggle with. Just look around to each part and let them know that you see them. They don't have to share, but they're welcome. Check in and see if they're able to look around and see they're not alone. There's a team here. They've got other parts that bring gifts, but also share their struggles. They've got you. And the gifts they bring make you you and make you whole. But you're capable of leading here. Even if they may not believe that yet, some of them see if they could trust just a little more. Then just express gratitude to each part, acknowledging them 
one by one. Let them know that you're grateful for them and maybe let them know what you were grateful for today. And in turn, allow them to share some things they were grateful for. And let them know we're about to wrap up and doze off for now, but see if there's anything else before you tuck them in. And thank them for their courage for as much or as little as they shared. Let them know that you can do this again tomorrow night if they would like that and if it feels right for you. For now, just tuck them in. Maybe they have a special blanket. Some may want to snuggle together. Some may need their space without any cover. And let them know that's okay too. But you're all together. You're all safe. And maybe some of those that have stayed up are ready to jump into bed and get some rest too. Invite them in. And let those know that may not be quite ready that they're welcome if they do want to join sometime tonight. But just thank all your parts for their courage. Let them know they're beloved, even if they're asleep, that they're enough. And rest well. <laughs>